Abby, what? I need. Abby bought me a Dr. Pimple Popper board game, which what? we've never played. But... What is a board game of Dr. Pimple The Big Dane Podcast. I'm your host, Dana Trimborn, and in this podcast, find the connection in the weird experiences that we all share. Listen to new episodes on Tuesdays wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, friends. In this week's episode, I'm chatting with my brother, Scott Trimborn, and we'll get into his weird things that he does in his daily routine. Learn what he puts on as soon as he wakes up and learn what he watches that he finds satisfying. Welcome, Scott. Hey, Dana. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I'm glad you're able to finally come on. It's been a long time coming. It sure has. <laughs> um, before we get into the episode here, uh, just tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from. Okay. Well, to start, I've known you my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from North Wales, where we lived in the same house forever. <laughs> and they've all, my parents have only just sold their house and are moving out. Kind of a bittersweet moment. Um, live in Philly. I'm a pharmacist, I'm currently not practicing, I'm in sales, but um, yeah. Wonderful, yeah. Um, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize you were taking a swig there. <laughs> yeah, I was taking a sip of wine. <laughs> All good. Um, to have the listeners get to know you a little bit more, um, Let's just get into some fun, interesting questions. So what's something you would want Shoot. people to know about yourself um, that isn't on your social media account? Hmm. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm really into online racing. Um, my wife, Abby, was really getting on my case about the video games I was playing. Um, she said that every one that I played involved like shooting or killing something. <laughs> and when she said that to me, I was like, no way that's true. You know, like I, I do play Tony Hawk from time to time, but yeah. every other game literally was shooting or killing something. So I, you know, the new Gran Turismo came out. I played it as a kid. I remember when Gran Turismo 3 came out, I bought the steering wheel with it and it kind of got me, you know, interested in it again. And I ended up buying a race wheel and a sim rig and a race chair, which I had delivered to your house, which was funny. Yeah, this um, is true. But yeah, I uh, I like to do that, and I, I spend a lot of my time, my free time, doing that. So. Yeah, the setup is no joke. I saw it um, uh, like last month, and I tried driving um, in the game there, and it's it's hard like it's like the real deal like yeah it, it, you need a lot of concentration for it and i think that's why i like it um when i need to check out unplug uh you know golf has always been that outlet for me it's like i'm in the zone i'm not thinking about work or life or anything else going on i just mm -hmm. think about what i'm doing in mm -hmm. that moment mm -hmm. now the sim rig was a lot less expensive than like a golf simulator would be. Oh, okay, that makes so, sense. So uh, it gives me that sense of flow. Yeah. Um, without having to leave the house, and I can really do it in like half an hour is is usually the amount of time I spend. Ah, doing okay. It, so, yeah. Have you realized? Sometimes more. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, have you realized like the longer. Um, you're on there like it's really not needed i guess you know just it's, to have, it's, like, it's the more outlet. a function of how pissed abby gets at me so <laughs> <laughs> half hour seems to be the sweet spot <laughs> <laughs> okay that's fair sometimes she plays with me though so yeah that's fun she will she does love her video games um Awesome. So let's get right into your daily routine. Let's hear about these weird things that go on. Well, what, what do you want to know? Just like start to finish? 
Let's start from the beginning when you wake up and what goes on until the evening. <laughs> yeah, so I'm usually up around six, plus or minus half an hour. That's early. You know, sometimes I wake up like automatic, no alarm, and I actually like turn my alarm off. Oh, wow. The next thing I do is I turn off our ring alarm. And because I'm the one that always turns it off, if for some reason Abby gets up before me, she will set it off every single time oh my gosh and it's crazy because i hear it and i'm like oh god and then i get a text i get an email and i get a push notification from the ring app saying oh my gosh hey the ring's going off like someone's breaking into your house and i'm like no it's just my wife <laughs> <laughs> so how does that work the the like what time is that set to what, like it's it's got a on off switch in the yeah. app and you can just manage it. Oh, okay. Um, you know, yeah. sometimes if Duh. we leave the house and I forget to set it, I can set it remotely, which is cool. Um, yeah, that's We do have like convenient. the old school keypad, but I don't think I even know the code to it. So, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I rely on the, the app pretty heavily. Um, next, you know, next thing I do is like roll out of bed and I put clothes on. You know, I know a lot of people like to put like lounge pants or pajamas or... Oh, that's the other thing. I sleep in my underwear. Nothing else. I can't have socks on when I sleep. <laughs> my feet get too hot. So, yeah, I put my jeans on, and I usually roll right to the Keurig machine. Okay, so, yeah. Did you catch this? Like, he gets out of bed in the morning and puts his jeans straight on, which, how does that sound comfortable to anyone? But, I mean, when was the first time... Like, you started doing this, or like, how, like, because dad was maybe I, doing this? I, I don't know if it was dad. It's just, like, um, especially if I don't need to shower, it, it mm -hmm. just removes a step from the day. Because we have such, like, so many steps in our house when we're on the top floor. Right. If I put pajamas on, go downstairs, then I'm going to have to, like, go back up and change again. So I'm like, why am I doing this? Okay. Just cut out, you know, yeah. cut out the stuff. So, um, yeah, by then, you know, I, I have my first coffee and I'm finally starting to wake up. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm the only, I'll, I'll call myself a vintage millennial. I'm the only vintage millennial that watches the news in the morning. Like, I watch 6 ABC every morning. That's, yeah. Yeah. You and I are the same. Yeah, I have yeah. to. I, you know, I don't like watching Good Morning America, but oh, if I wake up late, watch. I'll watch it. Because that's 6 ABC. No, I want... Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. But I think the main reason is, like, I have to watch the weather. And I don't like talking about the weather, but I have to watch it because if I look at the forecast on my phone, I, I forget it instantly. Okay. I'm very auditory when it comes to learning. Mm -hmm. Like, if someone explains something to me, I can repeat it back, like, no problem, and understand it. Mm -hmm. But when I hear the weather report... And she, you know, Karen Rogers is up there and she's talking about the week, like, and explains a little bit of the science. It clicks. It clicks. And I don't need to, like, look at my phone again yeah. to see, like, how hot it's going to be tomorrow or whether it's going to rain. Right. No, it's, got, I, it's good. I'm locked in. Yeah, you're sold. And now you know the whole forecast for the week, too. So you really don't have to look at it. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, Abby, Abby relies on me heavily for that, too. Scott, what's the weather? Hey, Scott, what's the weather? She'll, she'll even ask the Google speaker, and it'll tell her, <laughs> and then she goes, I, for, you know, I forgot. Um, oh, my God. That's great. By this time, Sophie has gotten up. Okay. Sophie rolls downstairs. She's got to go out. And Sophie is... Sophie's my dog. <laughs> my six-year-old dachshund mix. Um, she's cute. She's a lot. She barks really loud at the tiniest sound. But, Indeed, she does. And she takes dinosaur dumps. <laughs> but yeah, and diarrhea she's... dumps when she... no, no, not she anymore. Didn't. Only for you. Yeah. But no, on she's got to go out, so I let her out. And another weird thing that I do that we kind of talked about mm. uh, when we were offline, when when I walk out into the sun. I sneeze. Mm. And I don't know why that is. I've made up some bullshit in my head about protecting my eyes and like evolutionary like protection. 
<laughs> because you can't sneeze with your eyes open. So yeah. it's like your body's like I feel defense like... mechanism to shield your eyes from like from what too bright a light that's yeah. like damaging your eyes. I feel like we may have tried this when we were kids because... Tried to sneeze with our eyes open? Yeah, like, let's try to sneeze with our eyes open and see what happens. Are my eyes still open? <laughs> um, no, but, I mean, I think anytime you know, I'm with my brother, if we're out, like, maybe it's even me, him, and Abby, and we're doing a hike, like, the first thing, we get out of the car, and then... It's like he's sneezing because of the sun. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> like it's, every time. Yeah, it's gotten better with sunglasses. Yeah. I, I manage my chronic sneezing, sun sneezing with the sunglasses, but yeah, yeah. it's a good prescription. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I I sing Sophie's songs. Oh yeah, when you morning. take her out. Well, you just. All the time. Oh. All throughout the day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I usually have music on throughout the day because the house is so quiet. Um, we got those, you know, little Google speakers everywhere. Yeah. Hooked up to the Spotify. So constantly music playing. Um, I pretty much just replace all the lyrics with her name. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Give me a song. So what? Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm like blanking because i can only think of like bebops bebops like jams um how about (laughs) sophie's back all right no see like you're adding too many words it would just be sophie so sophie ah that's how i sing so like every word every word is replaced with sophie (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'm like noun for noun no like yeah Oh wow! Yeah. Um. So, what? How did you get started doing that? Like, because maybe of the no pandemic, when no being idea. being home. No, I think it was prior to pandemic. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well. I can't yeah. give you a time when it's time stamp. I'm sorry. How do you feel when you're when you're singing to her? Is she looking at you saying... Yeah, yeah, because I'm saying her name. Dad. You know? Abby seems to like it, so I keep doing it. Okay. Um, okay, so you take her, you sing some songs, you take her for a walk outside. She doesn't walk. She, she's she got this little porch potty, we call it, out back. She does not walk. We've tried <laughs> many times. She's just not a walker. I have witnessed this, yes. Sometimes I take her to daycare, probably like twice a week. Uh Uh-huh. And it's like a 10-minute walk. So sometimes that's nice. Okay. Um, Abby doesn't get up for a while. So sometimes, before I log into work, like before it's time, Mm -hmm. sometimes I'll sneak in some morning video games. Oh. Because I feel like Abby doesn't like when I play video games, you know? Like, I talked about that half-hour sweet spot. Yeah. So, like, when I do want to play more, That's it's your either window. when she, like, has an appointment and runs out or, yeah, in the morning before she gets up. Okay. Yeah. You know, I got the headphones, so. Yeah. And I know what time she gets up. Well, Probably incriminating it's... myself a little bit here. Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> um, so... I guess, like, for you, again, it's, like, just, you know, with it being an outlet to just kind of take a break or just something before you start something intense at work or whatever, like, you're getting that, like, I guess, release, like, in the morning if you need it, right? Yeah, yeah, it just, you know, relaxes me and puts me in a good frame of mind. Okay. Um, yeah, then I usually, you know, go upstairs and get ready. Shower, shave, shit, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Um, one thing that I do, usually in the shower, I don't know how many people blow their nose in the shower. Oh my God, I I feel like this is a guy thing. Pretty common, but I don't know because I only know really one other person in my life right now who I 
am around when they shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I you know, you know, I pinch it with both hands, pretty tightly, and then I I just let it rip and. Okay, let's take a quick break. For a limited time only, you'll have free access to my coffee page. No, not actual coffee. This is a place for all exclusive content that won't be on my Instagram or Facebook accounts. Check out sneak peeks, behind the scenes, extra audio clips, and much more. Just have a tap on my link tree, look out for that coffee cup icon, and boom, you'll be on your way. Um, you know, I've I've heard people refer to it as like a moose call, which I don't I don't think a moose call sounds anything like that. But um, yeah, it's loud. And this is around the time that Abby, Abby usually wakes up because so it's perfect. <laughs> it's her second alarm. Yeah. Her snooze. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, because growing up, our dad, you know, he would shower in the morning before work. But, I mean, I don't think, I think he, he wasn't doing this in the shower. Like, he would get out of the shower. I mean, I don't know. I'm only assuming, but. You should ask him. I should ask him. Because I painted a picture my whole life with him standing by the sink. But maybe this whole time he's been in the shower blowing his good nose. Chance. There's a good chance. <laughs> Why, why waste a tissue? You know, you're in the shower. Save a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> you might need it for something save else. Save a tree. Save the environment. Uh, yeah. Wow. So, I have to ask him. It, but it's so loud. Well, like, I would wake it is. up. I would say that there's a, a slight rumble in the house when it happens. A little... Tremor. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you know, and then I, I look at myself in the mirror when I get out of the shower. And I do like pimple popping quite a bit Mm -hmm. um i would call it like an urge because if i see one (laughs) you want to pop i have to get it yeah um so much so that i've literally scarred myself trying to pop pimples that you know weren't ready and uh i bought one of those like metal loops it's a metal loop it's it's called it the medical term is a comedone extractor oh wow you've probably seen them on like videos and stuff but I'm just picturing it's just a metal like a... loop like a little tiny circle like think of the loop of an earring almost but a little bit smaller okay and then you like press it like okay you, you put the pimple in the middle of it and you press down and it oh. squeezes from all sides so it just oh. it pops it. yeah okay yeah, yeah that's but, next level um well yeah. But let's let me say this because I mean, well, Please. people will say we'll see your your face on social media, but it's not like you have you know you're a teenager where you have all these pimples. So no, that's you know, true. But and you you just uh, reminded me of this one time you had a blackhead in your ear. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I remember we went we went after it and got it out. I was like, help! Remember how big it was. It was disgusting. It was, epi- it was like it a was, teenager. It was epically big. It was so gross. Like it was, it's it was the size that <laughs> would have been like YouTube material had okay. YouTube been out. At the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Throwback. I'm also looking at like the bags under my eyes at this point, and you know, being a pharmacist and. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna say it. I, I put hemorrhoid cream on my. On my bags. Yeah. To try to lighten them up. Now, how did you get started doing that? Because, I mean, obviously with you being a pharmacist, like, you know the drugs and certain products and whatnot. So you thought, oh, well, this makes sense. Obviously, like, you're not putting makeup on your face or, you know, to cover it. No, you no know, makeup. Like, no makeup. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, put I'll, I'll something unpack it for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh gosh, I think the movie was Miss Congeniality. Oh yeah. Um, there's a scene where like the coach is telling uh, Sandra, Sandra Bullock, Bullock yeah. that she needs hemorrhoid cream, oh, I don't and remember she this. like she like flips out at him because she's like they're not going to be looking that closely, like meaning hemorrhoids on her butt, right? Yeah. So he goes, no, dear, like. It's for the bags under your eyes. And I was like, interesting. 
like I wonder if that's like if there's any science behind that right I wonder like why he said that if that's like an industry standard blah 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 sure so as you know I'm going through pharmacy school there there's so many different kinds of um, hemorrhoid creams right really there's like ones with a little bit of hydrocortisone on it so think like when you get a mosquito bite yeah hydrocortisone is really good at put it like getting the swelling to go down there's also ones with um like a cooling gel not quite like uh icy hot because that would that, that would, would really hurt burn your but it's butthole. it's along that same vein like it's contact yeah. it makes it feel cold soothes it mm-hmm. uh, there's a few others that i'll skip but uh the one in particular the, that we're interested in yeah. has um phenylephrine in it now phenylephrine is a vasoconstrictor and i thought hmm that's interesting like the bags under your eyes are puffy because the blood vessels are dilated right okay so if you put a vasoconstrictor under your eyes it's going to shrink those blood vessels and Voila. And it's also a white cream, so it right. kind of helps to lighten yeah. it a little bit. But yeah, I, I do it from time to time. I don't do it every day. Right. Um, only if I look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's been a couple of times I'm like, are you okay? And it's these bags. I mean, I've, it, it's definitely genetic because, you know, like dad has them under his eyes. Mom has a little bit, but... I don't know. It's like when, even for like one or two nights, if you don't sleep well, like the next day, like I'm like, who am I? You, <laughs> you, you don't have it as bad. I feel like me and Dad have it bad. There's a little, yeah, a little yeah. worse. Yeah. It, but it, I mean, overall, it could be much worse. So, hey, we'll, well take it's that. Going to be. We'll take that as a win. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so, you know, that's getting ready. Um, yeah. I usually cook breakfast. Again, Abby's not up yet. And then I roll into work. Um, not a whole lot that I want to talk about there. Pretty yeah. standard. I usually make a lot of phone calls in the morning because it's offices are less busy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm calling for, like, refills or clinical notes, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes I have team calls, but naturally pretty standard now if i need a break i watch pimple pop videos on tiktok whoa there you go wow is there like a go-to account for that um there's a lot of uh derm doc reacts videos Mm. like dermatology yeah um so i i think the reason i started get like watching it was you know, when I pop my own, it's like very satisfying. Um, but as I get older, I don't heal as quickly and I end up like scabbing up or, mm. you know, it takes a lot longer than it did like when we were in high school. Huh. Yeah. I guess I didn't, I didn't really cross my mind. Um, but yeah, your skin but changes. watching the video like kind of scratches that itch for me. <laughs> Without damaging my body. <laughs> this could be like a whole nother season of what what satisfies people. I'd be interested. We could get some weird stuff. Yeah. That's the goal. It's an idea. Um, and so how long, like, was it back in high school, you think? Well, well, no, because we didn't have any, I mean, Facebook was just coming out. As far as like when you start out watching these like like the moment like youtube was like live um dr pimple popper was definitely an impact okay um <laughs> and your thought this is abby, what i need abby bought me a dr pimple popper board game what? which we've never played but what is a board game of dr pimple popper uh it's exactly what it sounds like like think like operation oh but instead of it's like someone's removing face. little parts without touching the side, you like pop pimples. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we'll have to play. <laughs> I, I didn't know she gifted this to you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think many people maybe they don't want to admit that they do enjoy watching pimple popping. 
Yeah. Because it's satisfying. TikTok will lock on to your darkest secret <laughs> and just give you more and more of it. Uh, so, wow. I wonder what we would find if we pulled up your TikTok. Oh, nothing because I don't have one. Oh, uh, <laughs> smart. Yeah, I, I thought about it, but I'm like, I really don't want like another account. I don't need it. It's a lot. So, it's a lot. I, I don't have one. So Matt will send me a lot of TikTok videos of like cats. Yeah, I spend a lot of my day sending uh, Instagram uh, memes or reels. Yeah. Um, you know, the 4th of July just passed. And there was one video in particular where it was like a security camera on the front of a person's house. Not a doorbell. It was on the second floor. But... Um, you know, there's a family out there, extended family and friends, let's say 15 people. Someone was lighting a firework and something went wrong because people started to like grab the babies and start to run. Oh, and then wow. there was this like pop and there were uh, flares, you know, coming out. And it was like, okay, like that was kind of bad because people could have got hit by it. Mm -hmm. But then like, Five seconds later, underneath the car, there's this explosion of fireworks, like the <gasps> grand finale at the waterfront. Oh, gosh. And it's just going off. And it, like you can't see anything at the end of the video because there's so much. Yeah. But it must have been yeah. super loud. I'm sure that used to happen all the time anyway with fireworks. And that's why so many states make them illegal. Probably. <laughs> but now, know you know. What to do? We're like the most photographed most videoed generation yeah right? all that stuff gets captured so oh yeah don't miss a beat um how about is there anything like in the evening like after work um, mm -hmm. um sometimes i go out to lunch oh well, that's nice yeah we have a ton of restaurants around us and it's hard to get a reservation for dinner even during the week sometimes mm -hmm. so yeah, I just shoot out for lunch occasionally. I like that. Yeah. Um, Why not? If in, you can. In the evening, I've been trying to get away from like having a drink at mm -hmm. 5 or 5.30 every day. Mm -hmm. So that's usually when I'll race a little bit. Okay. Online. Let me do something else. Yeah. Take my mind off work and chill. Um, I start to tackle some chores. I usually cook dinner. I do all the laundry in the house. Oh. Abby wouldn't have any clean clothes. <laughs> it kind of stinks because we're on, you know, the, the primary is on the third floor and then the laundry room's in the basement. So it yeah, is a lot. Yeah, it's a of, lot. A lot of steps, a lot of back and forth. That's good exercise, though. Yeah. Um, cool. So, I mean, with your evening routine um and you cooking like does do you guys take turns like no. or how did that be i mean since i know you i, know I would you say, like to cook but you know how Abby, did that get into I, your i i you know I, i've always liked to cook yeah um where we live to go out to eat is pretty expensive so is takeout i would say even more so um abby likes to order takeout which is fine and we do we also uh, keep Wednesday night as our date night. So we'll take turns making a reservation somewhere that we haven't tried. Perfect. Which has yeah. been really great. Um, shout out to Zach Seibel. He's taken us to Hook and Master, his brother's restaurant. Right. Steve, is that is that right? I think it's Steve. Sorry if I got that wrong, Zach. Steve Seibel, Hook and Master, insane pizza. Um, I gotta check this out. Yeah, I heard pan it's awesome. pizza, tavern pizza, party cut. Great cocktails. Mm. Um, uh, they had a cocktail with uh, Unterberg. Ah. Oh. For those of you who don't know, Unterberg is a uh, German digestif, I guess you would call it, or a, a bitter. Um, very herbal, very medicinal. In fact, it's sold like at the point of sale at grocery stores in Germany, not at like a liquor store, but. I think it's been picking up speed as like a cocktail additive, mm. very unique flavor. But did yep. you get it? They were out of they were out of one of the ingredients. They weren't out of oh, Underberg because oh, I saw okay. it and I was like, huh, I wonder 
what they're making with that. Yeah. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. Well, very cool on the date night. Yeah, we do that too. We have Tuesday as ours to do something together. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I guess like anything, you know, different they do when you go to bed? Well, um, before bed, I usually, Abby usually works pretty late. All right. So around seven, eight o'clock, she's usually wrapping up. Okay. And then, I, you know, we have our shows that we watch together. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes, we, you know, we also have our own shows that we watch. Yes. But we have shows that we watch together. So I'll ask her if she wants to watch a show. There's usually popcorn. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I usually make sleepy time tea. Oh. Huh. Pretty consistently. Even in the hot, like, Even year in the round. Summer. Yeah. 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 Oh. Just helps me sleep. Um, there's nothing really crazy that I do getting ready for bed, but the room has to be completely dark. Like, we have these blackout shades. Mm-hmm. Even if the bathroom door is left open, like... I'll wake up as soon as the sun comes up. I don't know if my eyelids are short or something, <laughs> I, I, but I will. I'll wake up. Well, maybe I have the same issue then because if there's even one little dot of light in the room... It drives me crazy. I'm like, how can I cover this? Abby sleeps with earplugs in every night. I do sleep with an earplug. Do you? One? Single. Because it feels funny if I have two in and if the... The ear that's on the pillow, if I have that in, I'm like, I can't. This feels weird. We sleep with a fan on. I didn't know you had a fan. Yeah, it's, like, a t- it's a tower fan. Oh, okay. It's a tower fan. But, you know, we have the subway. Well, not the subway. It's the L where we live. It's the subway other places. But, you know, it goes by every Pretty late. 15 minutes, mm-hmm. probably less because it's going both ways. Um, and in the morning, you know, the first one is at like four forty-five. <sighs> so when we moved there, it took a while to get used to that. Yeah, I bet. We've we've always lived near trains, though. Right. So I, you know, I'm used to hearing it, but the house has a little tremor mm-hmm. when it goes by too. And it's much louder. It is much louder. Nice. What a lovely routine you have. (laughs) Um, Well, if the listeners want to get in touch with you, um, where can they find you? Um, Let me think about that. I'm on Instagram. It's Scott Trimborn. That's my handle. Uh Um, All one word. Uh, Yeah. That's it? Reach out. Ask me questions about pimple popping. Yes. (laughs) And I'll have that information on my show notes and uh, my social posts as well. So you can see it there. I hope everyone found connection here with Scott's routine. I know we got some pimple popping people out there. Where are you watching your videos? Let's hear it. Um, But all right. Well, thank you again for joining me, Scott. It was a lot of fun. Thanks, Dana. Of course. And we'll catch everyone next week. See ya. All right, my friends. Thanks for listening. And be sure to listen to new episodes on your preferred platform. Stay up to date with my podcast by going to my Instagram or Facebook accounts at The Big Dane Podcast. Interested in being a guest? Just go to my link tree. Tap on Be a Guest and fill out the form. All right. Catch you next week.